up guys, MJ Bike Life here. I'm going to tell you why you should get an Enduro. Enduro is the best of both worlds, on the road and off the road. Also, Enduros are usually smaller, so they're a little bit safer for all types of conditions. Enduros also have nice soft suspension, so when you hit the bumpy bumps, you don't feel anything. They're also very, very easy to learn how to ride on. They're relatively light. Not mine. Mine's like 300 pounds. But they have some Enduros that are relatively light. So you can really like maneuver very easily with these bikes. There's also, I wonder if the policia are going to turn around and try to catch me riding dirty. He just gave me the look like, nah son, you cool. And he didn't turn around. He, didn't run, he ran the stop sign though. That's neither here or there. So, anyway, like I was saying, the reasons why you should start off with an Enduro is because anyone can ride one of these. There's not, a, there's not too much power. If it drops, like, who gives a shit? Because it's only going to hit the floor. I mean, it's only going to hit like grass, because these things you can learn how to ride on the grass. You don't have to learn on the street and cry when you uh, hit the ground. With Enduros, I mean, there's really no messing these bikes up. Look at that limo. Who's in there? Man, he was like right up against the curb. Enduro life is like simple, you know? Look, I ride one hand the whole time. Why? Because it's an Enduro. It's got super soft suspension. It doesn't go too fast. It's chill. You know, it's chill riding. There's like random people just stopped in the road. Yeah, there you go. You can stop over there. I see you. It's on his phone. And look, this is the best part of having an Enduro. Huh? A dirt road. Oh man. If I had another bike, I wouldn't be able to ride on this dirt road that they randomly put here in the middle of the woods. But since I have an Enduro, I wonder if there's speed. Uh, tractor come through here. Look at all that dust I'm making. Such an asshole. I, I guess they had a tractor come through here to kind of smoothing out everything. There was a fire back here maybe like two weeks ago or something. But I don't exactly know where it was. Man, look, you can't do this shit on a, on a big bike. anyone that's looking to get a bike to definitely start with an enduro that was my first bike I sold it to my friend it was also his first bike it's really like no beating it there's a safari tour going on over there we 
want to go down this road. No hunting. Okay, not hunting. I'm not hunting, I swear. Hunting for the trails, whoa! Oh, sick air! Sick air, whoa. That was pretty cool. I, 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 okay, I'll stand up, I get it. Young rapper style, the young rappers be jocking it. Made a brand, everything I wear, they be rocking it. Where can you have more fun than this? Whoa. Someone's bumper was lost over there. <sighs> We're still going this way. Oh, look! I found the fire. So all these woods are on fire. Which sounds about right because there's a pit back here where all like the cool Jeep kids and stuff go and have like bonfires and all that BS. Wow, look at the difference. It's like, it's like Mortal Kombat woods over there. And then you have like great vegetation, great looking plants over on this side. Ain't that something. Instagram. Gonna take a picture for Instagram because we're cool. Okay. Cool. No, not of myself. Yeah, I know. You guys can't be breathing. Don't give a shart. Booyah. Toe. Sick. Six flags out there. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, it's like mad far out there. But it is out there. I wonder if the gap's still here. I think we put the gap back over here. Oh, the gap's still here. Look at how real that thing looks. Gotta hide it again. If anyone can come find this guy, it could be a high five and a cookie. Geocaching live.